Super Smash Bros. Brawl is the best Smash game. Oh boy, I can already feel this video might be controversial. I'm aware the Smash community can be pretty toxic, but hopefully I don't get too much backlash from this video. Anyways, Super Smash Bros. Brawl came out in 2008 when I was just a dumb cringy kid and quickly became one of my favorite games of all time. I have been playing Smash Bros. from the very beginning. Well, okay, the timeline is a little bit weird. I played the original in Melee a bunch, but I was poor, so I was always kind of a couple of years behind. But still, I played the Smash series a bunch before Brawl. But Brawl was the first Smash game where I was actually there from the very beginning. I remember seeing the first trailer and it just being so hyped. All the OG cast comes in walking in on a black screen and they are their medley models. Then a beam of light goes over them and they get more realistic looking and things just start to pop off. Everyone's fighting on stages. This catchy opera song starts playing and then Mario gets an item and just shoots a massive fireball and I didn't know what the hell was going on. But then every other character was doing cool stuff too. This was everyone's introduction to Final Smashes and it was fantastic. All new characters were getting introduced with title cards. I had no idea who the hell Pit or Meta Knight was, but Meta Knight looked cool, so I was on board. The Brawl trailer was also the first time I saw Zerosu Samus, and that part of the trailer had 11 or 12 year old me like, God damn. Then, once you think it's over, Solid Snake just shows up in Smash Bros, ending the trailer in the perfect way. But then it gets better. As later on, we get another smaller trailer revealing that not only is Solid Snake joining the fight, but Sonic the Hedgehog is in the game too. The hype was just so real with Brawl. Honestly, most of the other reveals in future games were crazy hype too, but I'm talking about Brawl right now, okay? Super Smash Bros. Brawl just introduces so many cool new things to Super Smash Bros. We had a map maker, which I used fairly often, but while I did share it on the internet, I don't think my friends ever played my levels. But it was still a really cool feature. There were also demos of older games like Ocarina of Time in the game. You could only play them for like 15 minutes or something, but it was still a really cool feature. But in addition to all these cool features, Super Smash Bros. Brawl just had so much dumb charm to it. Like how every time you picked a character, a soundbite would play from the very low quality Wiimote speaker. Till this day, I still find it funny. Yeah! Or just the fact but the star screen is just the loudest thing on the planet. Okay, so before I do this, I just want you guys to know, usually I would adjust the audio levels to make sure a clip isn't too loud, but for comedic purposes, I am just going to leave this unedited. So whatever happens, happens. Okay, here we go. For real. Why is it so loud? Like you really couldn't sneakily play this game at night because you would just wake up your parents with that sound effect. But there is also something really great about Super Smash Bros. Brawl that me and everyone else loves. Come on guys, you know I was going to talk about it. Everyone talks about it. Subspace Emissary. Dude, this mode was insane. In Super Smash Bros. Melee, we did get an adventure mode, but it was fairly basic. Like it wasn't bad. But I feel like I remember everyone's journey almost being the same. Like there was some differences, but it was pretty basic. But Subspace Emissary, woo wee, we were not ready. The adventure mode now has cinematic cutscenes. There are multiple stories that are all connected in some kind of way. There are choices that you can make that would change future cutscenes. Well, okay, they change future cutscenes in very minimal ways. But it happens, okay? Everything is just so cool. And while I have seen people argue about whether this story is actually good, in my opinion, it is. Like it's actually crazy how good of a story was told in subspace considering the fact that no one really talks. Like I think at most there's like 10 words said throughout the entire campaign. But it's not really dialogue or anything really resembling a conversation. But everything just works so well regardless of the fact that characters don't really talk. There are sad moments like with the Robs. There were also some really cool moments, like that one cutscene. You know the one I'm talking about. This one cutscene blew my mind the first time I saw it, and still to this day, it is very hype. Ganondorf and Bowser are on this huge cannon. They see the good guys approaching a Meta Knight ship. They shoot the ship and it lands. The halberd goes down, then it explodes, 
And then all these other small ships come out, and the main theme starts playing. All the good guys are still going towards this portal. More laser beams are getting shot at them, and they are dodging all of them. Then, all of a sudden, Kirby comes in and slices the cannon in half, and the good guys win. Man, I never get tired of watching that cutscene. But yeah, Subspace MSA was just so cool. I guess Taboo was kind of an undercooked villain, but I don't know if he really needed to be very complex. All the players needed to know was he was stronger than Master Hand, and I feel like that was enough to establish that he was bad news and needed to be defeated. And while it's not really a complaint, I did find it funny how Sonic just shows up at the last minute. Like, dude basically missed the whole story. It's a real shame we never got anything really like Subspace Emissary again. Because Sakurai didn't like people posting the cutscenes before the game came out, or on day one. Like, yeah, we got World of Light and Ultimate, but it was pretty lacking compared to Subspace. I hope in the next Smash game, we can get something like Subspace again. Of course, I am not delusional. Super Smash Bros. Brawl is not a perfect game. It does have some noticeable problems, like tripping. That was a very stupid mechanic. I understand that it was done so casual players had an easier time with the game. But it was just so dumb to have a random mechanic that could cost the player the game at any point. The game was also much slower than Melee, so it didn't really appeal to the competitive side of the Smash community. Honestly, still to this day, it's kind of crazy how bad Nintendo is when it comes to treating the Smash scene. Also, despite there being a 6 year gap between the games, Brawl kind of seemed rushed in the regard that the game would just drop frames offline sometimes and I feel like sometimes it even full on froze. Which was super weird. Like I understand when it would happen online because the Nintendo Wii having Wi-Fi was sort of a last minute thing. But offline, I don't know. But I'm glad future Smash games don't have this problem anymore. Or at least I never noticed it happening in 4 or Ultimate. But despite its flaws, Super Smash Bros. Brawl still remains as one of the most important games of my life. Bro is actually the reason I even started this YouTube channel back in 2008. Because as a dumb kid, I saw YouTube videos that didn't age very well, like brawl taunts, and a lot of machinimas. And having seen all these funny machinimas, I decided to try to make my own. It, uh, didn't work out very well. Those videos are very cringe, and no one should watch them. Like, I feel like me saying this is going to make people watch those videos, but seriously, don't. They are not the good type of cringe. You will regret watching them. Anyways, Super Smash Bros. Brawl is my most played game of all time. Actually, it's tied with Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Which, by the way, I really want to talk about the Xenoblade Chronicles series. But those videos would be so long and it would take so long to render that I can't do those videos until I have a much beefier computer. I still need 3k more hours of watch time until this channel is monetized again. Maybe you guys can help out with that? Hmm? Okay, I'm kind of getting off topic here, but yeah, I put about 465 hours or more into Super Smash Bros. Brawl, and it really was such a great time. So yeah, even though the entire Super Smash Bros. series is absolutely goaded, and I love all the games, and honestly, I could probably make another video praising all the games. Though, if I'm being honest, I feel like I would probably hit the previous problem I mentioned with Xenoblade Chronicles if I did that video. You know, it would just be like, okay buddy, that's a little bit too many words about video games, calm down now. Anyways, when it comes down to what I would describe as a definitive version of Smash Bros, or what game first comes to mind when I hear Smash Bros, it's Brawl. So yeah, in my opinion, Super Smash Bros Brawl is the best Super Smash Bros game, so far. Maybe Smash 6 will change my mind, but I don't know. I have felt this way for over a decade now, so it's unlikely. Alright, so that was the video. Hopefully it wasn't too bad. And honestly, I'm hoping I'm not going to get too much hate on this video. I know the Smash community can be pretty toxic, but hopefully they go easy on me. Anyways, this video is probably longer than it needs to be. So I just want to thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, and don't forget to leave a like, leave a comment, and if you really enjoyed what you saw today, and don't forget to subscribe. I have been Crazy Blood Monkey, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Here's the end card. Go ahead and click on something, I guess. Okay, bye.